I'm Matthew McAuliffe and here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. As Obama settles into the White House for another four years, his policies are expected to dramatically inflame the economic crisis and take root in the form of a national, quote, movement. LifeSite News observes Obama's director of public engagement has used her office to build what Barack Obama referred to in his last campaign speech as not just a political campaign, but a, quote, movement meant to turn liberal activists across the country into community organizers that support his agenda. As this army takes root and develops itself across the country, the Treasury quietly warns, expect the debt limit to be reached by the end of 2012. Catholics have played a serious role in putting Barack Obama back in office this time around, despite his open attacks on religion and his vicious hatred of life in the womb. Catholics around the country gave Obama 50% of their vote compared to 47% who voted against him. This includes a specifically Catholic-heavy Ohio, a key battleground state in the election. Homosexual activists have won a series of victories hijacking the political definition of marriage taking place in four states voting on the issue in last night's election. Maine and Maryland have passed laws allowing same-sex unions, while polls in Washington state showed very early this morning that 52 percent supported legalizing same-sex marriage in the state. Minnesota, a state where same-sex marriage is illegal, voted not to define marriage as between one man and one woman in their constitution. Assisted suicide came very close to being legalized in the state of Massachusetts last night, narrowly defeated. The so-called Death with Dignity campaign conceded early this morning with 95 percent of precincts reporting those voting against the legalized assisted suicide law outnumbered those in favor of it 51 percent to 49 percent. The outcome of the battle comes as a relief to many after a September poll showed voters overwhelmingly supporting the measure. Catholics and Orthodox Christians in the Holy Land have announced they will celebrate Easter together this coming year. As a gesture of unity, the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem will adopt the Julian calendar for Easter in 2013 so that Catholic families and those of Orthodox denomination can come together on the same day to commemorate Christ's resurrection. The Patriarchate hopes to adopt the Julian calendar for Easter more permanently starting in 2015. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex where Michael zeroes in on the truth about Obama's re-election. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends and may God bless you.